we've seen the first verified case in Canada now where someone who took the AstraZeneca vaccine has gotten a blood clot. And I'm just wondering if we're at all concerned about that here. Well, we've been tracking adverse events from immunizations throughout and uh, making sure that uh, we continue to listen to the advice of physicians like Dr. Henshaw and, and the National Advisory Committee on Immunizations, making sure that all these manufacturers go through all the uh, steps required with Health Canada before anything gets approved. And that, that's how we make sure that all this, the vaccines that we give out in Canada are safe and uh, are effective. Um, so, of course, we'll keep on tracking any adverse events, but uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine, uh, just for, for everyone to, to remember, is, is safe, it's effective, uh, and we, we hope uh, uh, all the, the eligible Albertans are uh, stepping up to, to take the AstraZeneca vaccine when it's uh, available to them. Well, we're seeing a lot of reports, not just in Alberta, but across Canada, that there are a lot of unused vaccines um, in certain areas, and I'm just wondering... What's our vaccine rollout sort of looking like right now, and how do we make sure that everyone who does qualify for one of these vaccines is going out and getting them if uh, if they need them? Um, well, um, so right now, I mean, most of the, the vaccines that we're receiving, um, as we receive them, they're getting out the door as, as quickly as, as we're receiving them through the pharmacies and through AHS. We now have the, the family uh, physicians who are also giving it out um, and, and we encourage all, all Albertans who have any questions about uh, harm or about uh, any concerns they have with the, the vaccines, make sure that they're talking to their, their pharmacist, their, their physician, um, health professionals to, uh, to be able to, to assess the, the risk for them. Um, but uh, we, we have uh, the pharmacies are on board right now. They're, they're the, um, doing a great job along with AHS and, and making sure those vaccines are, are getting out as quickly as possible to Albertans. What do you envision the rest of this year looking like in regards to COVID and sort of going back to a little bit more normal uh, times? Well, uh, obviously, we, we know with the, the vaccines, and we've given out now the, the millionth vaccine. Uh, to to um, There have been over a million now that have been given out to Albertans. That, that means that our, our cases... Um, you know, the, the vaccines are, are not just the light at the end of the tunnel, but they are the end of the tunnel. We're, we're going to, to see as uh, more and more uh, people get the vaccines that our cases will come down, uh, despite the, uh, you know, the, uh, the race with the, the variants that uh, the vaccines are in right now. Uh, cases will come down, hospitalizations will come down, and that will mean that restrictions will, will be eased as those, the pressure on our healthcare system, the focus for us will um, be easing as well. Right. So are, are you picturing, you know, this year we will have events like the Stampede and, and stuff go off without a hitch, or will we still have most restrictions still in place by that time? Well, it's uh, a changing situation. I mean, if more restrictions are, are needed for, um, you know, the, uh, the, the near future, um, of course, uh, we'll, we'll continue to be responsive to the evidence. And uh, we don't, we hope we don't have any further restrictions. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, we continue to, to work with summer festivals like the, the Stampede. The Stampede is still optimistic. Um, we continue to, to make sure that folks in Emergency Operations Center um, have a table for them to discuss with the, the folks who organize the summer festivals and make sure that uh, we're working with them already so that they continue to do as much planning as they can. But it, it is a, an evolving situation. And um, we, we um, continue to be optimistic, knowing, though, that the, the current increase in, in cases is a, a little bit of a, a worry that we're continuing to gauge right now. Throughout this whole thing, uh, since February or March of last year up until now, it feels like we were doing very well for a while. But now with the variants and all that, we're kind of back to where we started or, or in a similar place to where we started. You know, schools, uh, at least in Calgary, are switching to digital only for a while. Most people are back to working from home. And, and I'm just wondering, is that discouraging to people and to the government? Well, I, I think that, uh, of course, we, we look forward to, to going back to um, a way of life where we don't have these, these restrictions. Um, and we understand how, how frustrating. I'm mean, thinking every Alberta, including those of us in government, are, are um, uh, you know fatigued with uh, COVID and, and looking forward to the restrictions being gone. But look, I I, I think we 
we um, as uh, we, we see these restrictions um, being being opposed is because the cases were increasing and um, really the, the reason that we had to, to tighten restrictions again this spring was because there was a race between vaccines and the variants and the, the variants won because the the federal government very clearly did not provide us in February and March when we were expecting to get those vaccines uh, did not provide them to us and the uh, the deliveries ended up being postponed really in, until uh, now until April um, and uh, that that's the disappointing thing for us I think that's where we're frustrated uh, we know that uh, Albertans are, are, are tired of, of restrictions and want to, to move forward and, and us too and uh, I think now that we have the vaccine starting to to arrive and starting getting the arms of Albertans we'll start to, to see the uh, the benefits of that I believe it was yesterday, at least, uh, or two days ago or whenever, the Prime Minister came out and said that he was in support of interprovincial restrictions in regards to traveling. We heard Premier Doug Ford talk about it, and then uh, we, we've heard the Premier in BC also talk about it. I'm just wondering, do you think it's a good idea to set up those um, interprovincial travel restrictions, or should we try to avoid them? Well, the, the, the advice I have from, from Dr. Hinshaw is, is um, um, concerns about enforcement. Um, I think uh, we'll, we'll continue to, to make sure that the, the restrictions that, that we, we are um, going forward with here in Alberta are going to be based on the evidence and uh, based on where we see um, current concerns with uh, the spread in the community. I mean, obviously, the, the P1 variant um, and, and some of the, the quick spread in, in Alberta did... Um, happen with uh, interprovincial travel from from uh, other provinces but uh, that being said um, that's uh, also just uh, a consequence of community spread in, in general here in, in Canada um, but um, we're happy to continue to work with our our, um, our partners in, in other provinces and um, and uh, make sure we're listening to dr. Henshaw and uh, um, and, uh, and, and, and her suggestions about how we, we limit community spread interprovincially or, or not. But look, as you, you mentioned, uh, the Prime Minister and his comments about interprovincial travel, uh, just to also point out that he also recently said um, about uh, you know, not having any regrets on procurement and um, just to reiterate the, the disappointment that our government feels uh, on behalf of all Albertans. That, uh, that that's not correct. I mean, to not have regrets on, on procurement is, is 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 totally incorrect. Um, we obviously the, uh, the 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 agreements, the purchase agreements, didn't include a delivery schedule for February and March, and we found ourselves um, behind uh, even Eastern European bloc countries, uh, which is just really disappointing for us, and one of the reasons why we now have the tightening restrictions throughout the country.